Libertarianism is pro-immigration, pro-market, pro-trade. More competitive, less centralized. Not military confrontations, but peaceful interaction. The war on drugs has been actually an unmitigated disaster. I'm not claiming that a libertarian world will be perfect. I'm just claiming it will be better. Uh, I'm not a utopian, uh, I promise. <laughs> um, I think that uh, if you implemented every libertarian reform, there are certainly some people who will get hurt. I'm not going to uh, try to convince you otherwise. That there, but ultimately, I think the world would be a better place. Uh, I think I do take human nature quite seriously. I think if you give a group of people unlimited money and almost unlimited power, and then you give them guns, bad things are going to happen. Uh, and I think that that kind of uh, power should be constrained. Uh, I think ultimately libertarianism is actually an optimistic vision. I think uh, maybe this is my, uh, this is a flaw of mine, but I am an inner optimist. I think that uh, despite some of my friends that actually human beings left alone aren't perfect people, but they tend to make uh, good choices and they are charitable in the best of times. Uh, and libertarianism is also the ideology that takes individual rights seriously. I was really happy to work at an organization that argued in favor of the Supreme Court decision that legalized gay marriage, and we filed a brief in that case, but we also filed a brief in defense of the Christian baker who did not want to bake a cake for a gay wedding. I don't know how many other organizations have defended the right to uh, be married in a gay, to be, uh, to be in a gay uh, marriage union and also defend the right of uh, Christian bakers. And ultimately, I think libertarianism, if taken seriously, does allow for the enrichment of more people. And uh, I know that that's ultimately a data point, but I think the data will bear me out. If you look at countries that have embraced liberalization of their economies and have allowed citizens more freedom, uh, the results, I think, do speak for themselves. Uh, I want to finish with maybe a conciliatory no note that I, I note a, a lot of agreement among the three of us, actually. Uh, in these tumultuous political times, I think it's nice to sit at people who, where uh, we basically think trade's a good thing, all of us, I think, and that's, that's good. Uh, we believe uh, that American institutions matter. Uh, and more importantly, perhaps, I think we all agree that ideas matter. Uh, and I think uh, the fact that you're in this room makes me suspect that you think the same thing. Uh, and maybe I can get a little uh, teary-eyed about my newfound Americanism, but uh, that a Moroccan-Canadian Jew and an Anglo-American <laughs> Kiwi can sit down with <laughs> Ryan from Colorado and... Uh, <laughs> and talk about uh, the best course of uh, this, this country is, uh, makes me happy, uh, and I hope it does uh, you too. Thank you. Well, thank you. Um, I'd like you to join me in thanking our speakers uh, tonight uh, for coming here and, and sharing with us. I wanted to say that tonight was special uh, because we were observing a, a civilized debate, and in some sense it's kind of sad that it's special because it shouldn't be special. It should be the norm of our political discourse. But this has become the special venue precisely because we're able to carry out conversation between three individuals who are friends but disagree on, on issues that matter to all of us. So I hope we've been able to at least model, model something that's important to American discourse and democratic discourse in general, and that is the ability to sit down and talk about our differences in a way that's conducive and not just merely trying to win points. Uh, politics has somehow become a moved away from a zero, has become a zero-sum game where individuals just want to win uh, and have victory uh, given to them. But when that happens, I think we all start to lose in some important sense. So thank you so much for modeling something that we, we, we need uh, uh, today. And I'd like to uh, ask the audience now to join me in thanking our speakers uh, for the wonderful event. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This brings, this brings us to a conclusion to this evening's event. Thank you so much.